It is the appointed hour, 530. And I uh, appreciate you all being here this evening. We did move our meeting uh, from its regular time of the third Monday because uh, we do celebrate the Juneteenth holiday here at the city of Tifton. And um, so the uh, city hall was closed yesterday for that special event. And uh, so therefore we moved the meeting to tonight. So I appreciate all of you accommodating that schedule for us. Uh, our meeting is called to order and I have um, asked Councilman Josh if he would please return thanks and offer a prayer and then uh, Vice Mayor Jack is going to be offering our pledge. So, Josh. All right, everybody bow the heads for me. Dear Heavenly Gracious Father, Lord, we just thank you for this day. We just thank you for giving us this time to get together in fellowship, Lord. And we just ask that you lead and guide us with our hearts and minds with the best thing to do for this city, Lord, and the city business. And we just thank you and praise you and give you all the thanks. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Josh. All rise. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jack. All right, gentlemen, uh, you have the copy of the agenda that was emailed out to us by our city clerk, and uh, we've all had plenty of time to review that and look at that, so I'll take a motion concerning that agenda. Move to approve. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? So that carries. Uh, the next item is the approval of the minutes, and we've got several um several meetings to approve but we can take that all together and again you've had time to review those minutes so i'll take a motion uh, concerning the minutes that have been submitted to us Move to approve okay thank you lester is there a second second thank you josh so we have a motion and a second any further discussion all those in favor please say aye aye, aye. any opposed all right uh, we are at our public comment section on the agenda, and um, I do need to remind the public that if you'd like to speak, there is a sign-up sheet, and there are also agendas. If you'd like to grab an agenda, they're on the podium back here, so you can follow along. Is anyone signed up, Jessica? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, so uh, Ms. Dixon has asked to speak. So Ms. Dixon, if you will, just approach the podium. And I know that you've talked to the council before. If you'll just state your name and your address so that will be part of the record. And then uh, you have a couple of minutes that uh, you can address the council. I do. Thank you all for letting me speak. My name is Tanya Dixon. I reside at 1113 Central Avenue, the mobile home park. Um, two days ago, we had another shooting. We haven't addressed the first shooting. I just received this um, blacked out police report from two and a half months ago, tried to submit it to my insurance company, didn't help me any. So I don't know what is going on. I've met with the council and the mayor and everybody. Nothing's happened. You guys told me it takes time. I don't know how much time do y'all want me to let y'all facilitate that. I mean, like I said, it's been another shooting. Uh, yesterday there was shooting of a gun. Um, I have no idea what it is that I'm supposed to be waiting on to get any help. There's a police car that sits there on the side of Little Pantry from just sitting there. So, I mean, I have no earthly idea what it is you guys are doing or to help facilitate this area. I, I don't know what's what's going on. Is that the conclusion of your comment? I guess so, unless you know we all gonna end up dead over there. Okay. All right. Thank you, Miss Dixon. All right. Uh, moving along, we have a presentation. Uh, we've asked our tax commissioner, Chad Alexander to come and talk to us about the homeowner tax relief grant. So, Chad, I'm going to turn the uh, floor over to you to share that information, please. All right. I gave y'all a uh, little packet there. The I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. This is the homeowner's tax relief grant. If I wouldn't have told you about it, you probably would have never known. But I want you to be able to inform your your citizens if they ask you that way you have some knowledge of what's going on basically what's going to be done 
is the governor signed in order. He's going to be reducing everybody's property tax by $18,000 of assessed value, which for the city right now, it accounts for about $650 to $700, somewhere in that neighborhood, depending on the millage rates. So if you'll, you got your packet that I just handed out in front of you. If you'll, the first one's the county, because I did the county last week. Go to the second stapled. This, hold on, I gotta put my glass on, I can't see. The, in the second stapled, you you'll see what second, last year's bill was. You talking about the second, second page? Right. No, the second, packet. second, second little packet. Okay. Yeah. It should say Betty Walker. Yes. Okay, gotcha. That property last year, property tax bill was 1859.26. Now flip to the second page with the same millage rate based with this homeowner's tax relief grant. We had to handwrite it because our, com our, our computer program will not let us regenerate. It would be $1,172. Mm. Everybody that has homeowners, homeowners will get this. This is not for rental property. This is not personal property. This if you have the homestead exemption. Gotcha. So it's about 670 some odd dollars. And what the city needs to know in the county and the school is the state will reimburse the city, the school, and the county directly, they said, within 60 days. Now that's the state saying that. That you will get a check back from them once I do the digest. That money will come directly to y'all. So you will be made whole. And there's nothing you need to do. Just Okay. Just sit there. But it is only for who the people who have homestead. It's not for rental property. Right. It's not for personal property. It's not for commercial. For those who may not have um, claimed their homestead, is it too late to it claim homestead? It is too late. Okay. It had to be done by April the per April okay. the first. Okay. And most of it. They had a chance uh, yeah. because they did send it out in January to, you know, okay. if you don't have it. So it's, it's been projected out there for people to come in. Gotcha. That's the, that's the very short version. I mean, if you got questions, you know, feel free. I could go into it a little bit further, but that's the, your, their property tax bill is going to go down. Yeah. And the city, the school and the county will still be made whole. And it's and just a one year. Next year it goes back up. There was talk with the up there in the state about two years, but right now it's just one year. So, is it okay if we have calls that have questions that we're not confident in at answering to refer them to you? Or is there yes. someone else to refer them no, to? No, you can refer okay. them to me. Okay. The only big, the only downturn of, the, of what's going to happen here is people who have a mortgage that they're, it's going to go down. Well, next yeah. year it's going to go right back up to sure. what if, the, if they don't get this grant again. So they will have a shortfall in that uh, property tax payment and your insurance. That they'll have to make them, they'll be kind of mad about it, but there's nothing we can do about it. Right. They didn't ask us. And, the, and that escrow doesn't always, it's, it's not immediate. It usually falls a year behind, if I'm it not falls mistaken. And then it says, okay, we're going to true it up, and your taxes went down, and so you get this, and your point in the next year is, oh, wait a minute, your taxes went up, so now we're going to increase your payments. Yep. Good luck explaining that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, down. we've already, yeah, we've all already. Go, all, your number, your phone number was, is it in this? <laughs> it's 386-7840. That's this. No, I'm playing. Three, <laughs> mine's 386-7820, but yeah, they can call me. Uh, the biggest thing is, if somebody asks you about keep, tell them to keep their mortgage payment the same, don't let it be reduced, because that will give them a a good true up for next year. Mm. That'd be my suggestion. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any other questions, gentlemen? Pretty pretty easy yeah. to pretty easy. Yeah, to comprehend. But um, I know it's going to be confusing to um, you know folks that aren't sure how all this works. So thank you for coming and sharing mm -hmm. this with us. And this has got some good information in it. So we if you got that. and if you do have questions, y'all got my number. Feel free to give me a call. Okay, great. Thank you, Chad. Thanks, Chad. Y'all have a good one. Thank you, Thank you, you too, man. We appreciate what you do. Thanks.
All right, gentlemen, uh, the next item, as you can see on our agenda, is our consent agenda. And as you know, these are three I these are items, no matter how many we have, that we can take uh, together. We can take them individually. Um, so I'll take a motion concerning either collective uh, approval or rejection or individual. I move we approve all three. Okay, so I have a motion to approve all so. three. And we have a second from Lester. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Uh, the next item, uh, we're under new business now, is the award of the um, request for proposals for the Fullwood Park inclusive playground design and installation to list products and services. Um, I know um, Emily uh, has spoken, you had asked Emily to go back because it was a little over budget mm -hmm. um, to do the, the project that we really wanted to do and you had asked Emily to go back to the Tourism Association, so. I spoke to Angela of the Tourism Association um, with the amount of overage she was actually on one of the steering committees to pick this so she's very much aware of why we chose that particular um, bid option but um, they have a board meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. and this has to go before the board to be approved um, we did ask if they could pay for half or all um, so she plans to bring that up tomorrow so I'll have further information tomorrow okay do we, do we have a an accounting of how much money that we've sent to them it's in our this, records for this one percent so yes. now, yep. now I'd, I'd like to to see what we collected at the hotels that are sure doing it which they're all in the city but i want to what we get back from things inside the city yep we can get that to you okay all right um any other questions or comments before i call for a vote on this i think everyone's got the information that they need so uh, so we'll be um, voting to award that RFP uh, to Bliss Products and Services, Inc. So is there a motion concerning that award? I'll motion. make them. Go ahead and get the MJ. Make I'll second it. Okay, so we have a motion by MJ, second by Josh. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, moving along, uh, review and approval of the re project recommendations for submittal to the Regional Transportation Investment Act, uh, that's the TSPLOS slash TIA2 Executive Committee. And uh, we talked about that at the workshop and uh, they presented maps and various information for us. So, uh, so I'll take a motion concerning uh, approving those projects. I move to approve. Okay, thank you, Lester. Is there a second? Second. All right, so I have a motion and a second by Jack. Any further discussion or questions? I've got a quick question. So as, as soon as we approve this, um, that that project list will then go to the executive committee. And when does the executive when does the committee meet again? Um, I believe we're able to give those presentations in November or December. Okay. Um, we're getting your guys' good graces on that first before okay. we're able to to really yeah. put it on the books. Um, okay. This will be a um, they look at it in the totality of the county, so it will be a joint presentation with myself and the county manager. Okay. All right. Perfect. So there'll be a little bit of a lag time once we vote on this. No Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And even if it is approved um, in the spring by mm -hmm. the voters, it's not something that you see yeah. immediately. Okay. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Any further questions or discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, uh, our next item is um, we had a visitor from, I can't remember that gentleman's name, and I know. Eric. Eric, thank you, I total blank, that was at our workshop um, to discuss the proposed natural gas rate increase, and as you know, um, he presented lots of good information concerning uh, our natural gas fund and, and the reasoning behind uh, a rate increase. He also presented to us um, three different scenarios, a 25 cent, a 50 cent, a 75 cent, um, increase so we have not decided Which what we want to mean? increase um, if we want to increase at all so um, if you're ready to make a motion be sure that you include the amount in that increase and then we can have further discussion if we need to concerning the uh, the uh, the gas fund I'm tired of increases <laughs> we increase water all yeah. we do is increase yeah I don't I'm not in favor of any increase. True. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you want to make that in the form of a motion of a no increase? I move we have no increase this year. All right. So we have a motion on the floor of no increase this year on the natural gas rate. Is there a second to that motion? Uh, I'm going to ask one more time. 
because the motion will die for lack of a second. Is there a second to that motion? Evidently not. No, I don't think there is. Yeah. Nobody else wants to make a motion. Yeah. I cannot make a motion. Um, does anyone else want to make a motion? I bet this needs to be have more conversation on. Want more conversation? Yeah. Um, can we move this item? Is this, is this time sensitive? Can we move this to our next workshop potentially? And, yes, and, okay. we can. The time that you want to do it is during the summer, the hotter months. Yeah. Um, so we can re put it back on for the workshop in um, July so we can have further discussion. Let's, let's do that and then we can, yeah, we'll talk more about okay. it. Okay. All right. That yeah, works. You might, you might want to make, have somebody make a motion to postpone. Okay. Time can someone make a motion to postpone to okay. the, this? I'll make I'll make a motion. <laughs> I'll make a motion to postpone the natural gas uh, rate. I'll to second the it. July to July workshop. To July workshop. Okay, workshop. so we have a motion and a second to that effect. So I'll call for that vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, next item is the resolution authorizing the city manager to execute the GMA lease agreement for a purchase of the 2023 E1 fire truck, and we are in possession of that truck already. Um, so I'll um, call for a motion concerning uh, payment for the um, new fire truck. I move we pay for it through that lease agreement because it's at a lower interest rate than what we're receiving on our funds in the bank, and so we make money on that deal. So I, I move we pay for the truck that way. Okay. Um, so we have a motion on the floor to execute the lease and in your packet is the details of that lease. Uh, it's, it's pretty standard lease agreement with Georgia Municipal Association. So we have that motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? All right, I'll call for that vote. All of those in favor of uh, authorizing Emily to enter into the GMA lease, please signify by saying aye. Uh -huh. Aye. So we have two that are in favor. Anybody opposed? I oppose. Nays. I oppose. No. So we have three nays and two ayes. Um, so we've got to figure out a way to pay for this. So I'm going to need somebody to make a motion concerning how we pay for this. I motion that we pay for it upright. Okay. So we have a motion just to go ahead and pay the total right. amount. Um, and I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, Emily, but I, know, I think the original quote on that that equipment was around 600 and upper 600,000. And then um, the fire chief was able to find, to negotiate that down to around 500. Um, we found a fire truck that was already built before price increases. So we locked that in at $480,000. Okay, okay. So um, so we would be paying for that outright, for the $485,000. Yes. So we have a motion to just pay for that outright. Is there a second? Second. All right, so I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Can we have a discussion? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did. I, I, I what is, what is your rationale for giving away money? Because that's what you're doing. I mean, the bank pays us more for the cash in the bank than what this payment is going to be for. And if it switches around, there's a no prepayment penalty. So for the life of me, I can't understand why you would take money out of the bank. That is the worst financial decision I've seen in a long time. And you're and I know a little bit about finances. Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll share with you my thoughts on that. I, and I'm not passionate about it one way or the other. Um, I, I, I am in favor of saving money where we can, but also not accruing any more debt to pay for it seems plausible to me. So if we have the funds to pay for it, if we got it at a reduced price, not carrying a balance seems appealing to me. So I'm not speaking for these gentlemen, I'll let them speak for themselves, but that's kind of how I looked at it, so. I concur. Okay, there's good debt and there's bad debt. Yeah. I don't know if the governor signed the, that law that said if you've got debt from the general fund, you can, people can't de-annex. But it, anyway, I mean, if you want to give money away, that's exactly what you do. Okay, so any, any further comments, questions? All right, those in favor of paying, please signify by saying aye. Uh -huh. Aye. And those opposed, please signify by saying nay. Uh, nay. Okay, all right, thank you. 
All right, our next item is the resolution adopting the FY 2024 budget. Um, we've had uh, our budget hearings. Um, the information has been presented. Uh, we've, we've, we've talked about the budget a lot. <laughs> so uh, the city is in good financial position, um, which is, was really, really good and uh, very proud of that and appreciate all of the departments who participated in the budget uh, workshops and, and the budget hearing and, uh, and thank Emily and Larry for their work uh, on making sure that our budget was, uh, was um, a balanced budget. So the resolution will be to adopt the FY 2024 budget, so I'll take a motion concerning that. I move to approve. Okay, so we have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. All right, so I have a motion second. Is there any discussion, any comments or questions? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, our, next, uh, our next resolution, and um, actually items number 10, which is the resolution for acceptance of the FY 2023 CHIP grant award and the agreements. Items number 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 are all part of the CHIP grant. So it looks, when you just look at the individual resolutions, it's a little bit confusing. Um, I know Jack and I were talking this morning and I, and I was confused and we weren't sure about that. So, um, so all of those are linked together. Uh, and since we're using a grant administrator, we'll need to uh, follow the policies of the grant administrator and that's what these other items are. So, um, but we will have to take, because they are resolutions, we'll need to take them individually, even though they're all linked into the community housing program for that grant. Um, so the first, uh, the first resolution for acceptance would be the CHIP grant award and agreement. So I'll take a motion concerning uh, that resolution. I vote to approve. Okay, so we have a motion by Lester. Is there a second? Second. All right, thank you. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, uh, again, this is just following through with the uh, grant administration contract. The next resolution is accepting that contract uh, to work with Grant Specialist of Georgia. Um, any comment, Emily, you need to make about that particular organization? Okay. Uh, so, uh, so I'll take a motion concerning uh, that grant contract, Admin grant administration contract. Move to approve. All right, thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the next is also part of the CHIP program. It's adopting the policies, procedure, and, des and program design for the CHIP grant. So I take a motion concerning that resolution. Motion. All right, thank you, MJ. Is there a second? Second. second. So we have less second by Lester. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, uh, the resolution, the next one is the resolution adopting the CHIP grant home buyer eligibility and home ownership value limit requirements for owner occupied housing, rehab, and new construction. So I'll take a motion concerning that resolution. I move to approve. All right, is there a second? Second. All right, thank you, MJ. We have a motion, a second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, uh, next we have a resolution adopting. Um, the Georgia statutes policies for prohibition on immigration sanctuary policies, Georgia Free Workplace Act and Illegal Immigration Reform and Enforcement Act, again, all part of the CHIP grant. So I'll take a motion concerning that resolution. Move to approve. All right, we have a motion by Lester. Is there a second? Second. All right, thank you, MJ. So a motion, second. Any discussion? Is, is this Georgia, it says it's Georgia statutes or is this federal? rules what's the you're talking about number 14 immigration yes. sanctuary policies and that kind of thing it's it's a georgia statutes we are talking about you know adopting georgia statutes policies prohibition of immigration sanctuary policies yeah so is this georgia saying if you can't have if you're a quote unquote sanctuary city you you're not following policies and so you can't get this chip grant. Is that what it's saying? It's my understanding the funding is federal that comes down through the through DCA and they disperse. But I guess DCA is maybe it is maybe requiring while while he looks at and that's that. That's why one. I was when it says Georgia yeah. statutes. That's what yeah. caught my eye. Yeah. You know, we had talked and 
know. Yeah, I said it was a federal. Federal yeah, one the, thing. The, yeah, the money is federal, but then it comes down through DCA. So I don't let Rob any. It prohibits you from doing that. But yeah. yeah. I have not had a chance. I, I reviewed the contract, administrative contract. I yeah. did not review this, but that's, I think what, that's uh, what you're saying is correct. If we have to have it, to get the other. That's right. Okay. We get asked that a lot on our comprehensive planning um, each year. And we don't, um, we haven't passed anything to be a sanctuary city. That's Rob right. may know more about that. And the other two, we're already a drug free workplace, and we already do the e verify, which is the immigration reporting. Okay. So okay. it's okay. just saying we're adhering to those um, laws that we're supposed to follow. I gotcha. All right. Did anybody make a motion? I yes. <laughs> Did we have a second? We have a second. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> My brain is still uh, not here. Um, okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions concerning number 14 on our agenda? All right, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, and then lastly, the resolution adopting the Section 3 policy for HUD-funded activities. And um, again, that, that um, is the last one for our CHIP grant uh, process. So I'll take a motion concerning number 15. Move to approve. All right, thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, so I have a motion by Lester, a second by John. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, so that takes care of that. Um, Larry, I'm going to call on you to give us an updated financial report, if you don't mind, please, sir. Mayor Council, this is the update through May versus uh, 11 months of this fiscal year. Uh, we're still holding our own. Uh, on the general fund, uh, total revenues through May were 15 million 524881 and uh, total expenditures in the general fund was 13 million 736733 and uh, net revenues over expenditures of 1 million 788148. Uh, all the departments are under budget. Uh, Public Works is right at budget and we will be getting a rebate back from them for the year which will put them under budget also. So all the departments are well managed. So uh, on the enterprise funds, the water fund total revenues was 3868477 total expenditures 2238089 net revenues over expenditures 1630388 on the uh, sewer fund total revenues 4792818 total expenditures 3450323 22 and net revenues over expenditures of 1,342,496. And the uh, gas fund total revenues 5,712,893. Total expenditures 4,853,964. Net revenues over expenditures of 858,929. And uh, solid waste total revenues 4,151,531. Total expenditures, 3,109,078. And net revenues over expenditures of 1,042,453. So uh, all the funds are doing, holding their own. So uh, we're in a good financial position, so. Very good. Anyone have any questions of Larry? You good? All right, perfect. Thank you, Larry, appreciate that. All right, the next item is our board report, and we do have uh, a couple of openings, a couple of applicants, and the boards have already met and are making their recommendations. So you can see in our packet that the Tifton Tree Board um, is recommending that Al Potts be reappointed, and he does would like to be reappointed. He is seeking reappointment. And then on our Tifton Tiff County Tourism Association, uh, Frank Sales has also uh, met with the tourism board and staff, and they've recommended that he be reappointed, and he would like to be. So um, we can take those together or individually, uh, however you'd li like to do those. I make a motion to take them together. Okay, and you can go ahead and uh, submit a uh, motion for approval. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we have a motion to approve second. Mr. Potts and Mr. Sales. So we have a second by MJ. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that's got that. Let me ask one, just uh, on library board, do you have applications for I do um, I think she was sent, sending me one more um, it was a gentleman maybe you works at keep, a school yeah Keith Daniels but you should have had Nancy Bryant because we're short 
several members, so. Okay, uh, I'll have to look to see how many we, we have. It may be some from the county, though. But I'll look tomorrow and get with her to make sure that they're not some people from our from the city. I only think we maybe appoint two or three people. Right, the, the rest opening, of the county. The school the and that we have are city okay. places. Now, that being said, we now are getting the latest, latest school board budget. They put the library back in for the first time in a oh, good wow. number of years. That's good news. That, that was good news. Uh, I think it was like $20,000, which, that okay, 20000 20000 But that opens up a seat because then the way the state says you have, they, they're entitled to a seat regardless of how much they have. Um, For the school board? School well, board. they appoint members. So they would do that appointment. If right, that's but they, they haven't, or they shouldn't have had. If they're still appointing, then they shouldn't have, because if you don't have any funding, you're not eligible to appoint. But so I are you saying the one that she reached out to that works at 8th Street, is that the one that's supposed to be an appointment from the school board? No. Okay. No, I didn't know <laughs> we right. had uh, uh, Kendra Ganaway was the city appointment, and she Oh, and so we've got Nancy Bryan that came that's going to do that. And then there was another one, I, I forget who else came out, Keith Daniels was who we had talked about at the last board meeting. But since then... Is Lillian, Lillian Morgan that attending? She could, have, she could have decided to come off. One, one of the others was the city. But I since then, it's when the school board approved this, which opened up, and we hadn't even gotten into that discussion other than... I'll, okay, I'll email her um, and tell her at the next board meeting to do something official and then send it back. That would be helpful okay. to know who's coming off. Gotcha. Okay. All right, any other questions or comments before we move on? All right, um, thank you, Jessica, for clarifying that. I appreciate that. Emily, city manager report. Just a few things. <clears throat> this Thursday from 5 to 8, at the Anthony Bateman Youth Center, we will have a Bateman Rock the Block um, for the youth in the community. Uh, we'll have bounce houses, a DJ, food, um, some good stuff going on. So for anybody that can stop by, certainly stop by. It's going to be a good time. And then this weekend, we have Rock the Block and the great race that's coming back. So downtown Tipton will be packed with lots of people, and it's going to be hot. So um, hopefully we'll see a, a pretty good turnout this weekend. Excellent. And we'll all be at the Georgia <laughs> Municipal Association <laughs> Conference. I hate that it's at the same time because that's really a fun event. But that's where we will be. So um, it just it does happen that way sometimes. All right. That, that concludes your information. Yes. Okay. All right. Mayor and Council comments. Anybody want to go first? I'll start. Okay. Just two quick things. Um, first of all, thank you to ESG for picking up some bulk items. Um, I got a phone call about some folks putting bulk items out with the yard debris and just a friendly reminder everybody if you just give Ryland a call they'll pick up your bulk items you know and just a reminder for their number is 229-382-4411 uh, so hopefully that'll clear some of that up and the other the only other thing is uh, just if you see any suspicious activity and we've had some people you know trying to break in cars again and looking in garages carports whatnot please look out for your neighbors look out for yourself call 911 immediately Let's try to help crack down on some of this stuff. That's all I got. Perfect. All right. Anybody want to go next? Go next. Uh, for myself, it's uh, not really comments. I just wanted to see if it was possible to fit in the schedule of the city manager tomorrow with the meeting with um, myself and the police chief so we can address some of the um, issues that's going on in my district. Sure. Right. We can. Um, Appreciate it. We may be able to have to do it Thursday morning. That's fine. Whatever um, you can fit me in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm good. You good? MJ? Uh, yeah. A couple of comments. Uh, definitely uh, want to uh, say congratulations to uh, the both of the Juneteenth events that happened. Um, they were uh, successful events. And uh, just want to remind everybody, you know, unity is, is, is the way to go. Uh, but um, just kudos to those people that put on those events for the, for the city. Um, also, uh, as Emily mentioned, yes, she did mention the block party on Thursday at the Bateman Center, but they also have the bingo, Bateman bingo coming up next Thursday on the 29th from six, at 6 p.m. And there will be prizes given away for that. Um, and um, that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. All right. And I'll wrap things up. Um, 
I was gone for a long period of time and I want to thank the vice mayor for filling in. Um, was not able to attend the Juneteenth events because we were still traveling, but I, I really appreciate Jack stepping up and, and filling in and, and uh, just, just handling all that for me. It, it, it gave me the opportunity to uh, take a little break and, and recharge my battery. So thank you, Jack. I just want to say thank you publicly for, for doing that. So thank you. All right. Uh, is there any further business that needs to come before our city council this evening? Seeing none, then we are adjourned. Thank y'all. Thank you.